In this video, we're going to learn how to create our own part using the Part Designer. First, click the New Part button, and then fill out these first four fields with appropriate data. I'll just use the word Test for this example. Next, enter the actual outer diameter and wall thickness of the pipe you want to create, and then click the OK button. This gives us a default pipe having straight cuts on both sides ready to be edited. Click the plus button on the start end miter cut, select the saddle and click the OK button. Then click yes to delete the existing miter cut. The display updates to show the saddle and now we can edit its parameters. Let's add a 37 and a half degree bevel angle. Next, we'll change it to saddle onto a 24 inch main pipe. The display updates and now we can select the second end for editing. We'll keep this end as a miter and change its intersection angle to 60 degrees. We'll give it a bevel angle of 37 and a half degrees and shorten it to a 25 inch crossing point. The end cuts are all done. Now we'll add some holes in the middle. Click the plus button. Let's add a round hole and click the OK. The hole is off the pipe now, so we'll just move it over by changing its X value to 15. Let's make a hole that's exactly three inches wide and give it a roll angle of 90 degrees so that it's on the front of the pipe. Our hole is all done and the display has updated accordingly. Now let's add a slot. Click the plus on the intermediate cuts again, and this time let's select a slot with round corners, then click the OK button. We'll round each of the corners of our slot with a quarter inch radius. Next, let's give it a length of four inches, and let's give it a width of two inches. The slot is off the pipe now, so we'll need to move it over to an X value of 20 inches. Now let's give the slot a roll angle of minus 90 degrees to put it on the opposite side of the pipe from the hole. We're done editing, so let's click the pipe a few times to see different views of our result. We're all done editing, so now we'll save and exit. Now we see our newly created part ready to be nested and cut.